بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إذا لك من بلقش الدنيا تعلت إذا كجوكتان ومرك لي يا برنامج شديد نيات كل سعتين أيرو تي في وبرنامج كني لما جاب هاي سويا لي سنجي وادين تبغى نجا براتين أنا كل سو تبينه قلها عهري إذاك برنامج كنا ما نتعرفن تي وحويان سويا لي سنجي غيبت سجل تمنات بحنو كل سو قادم دونا ديوان كا نبيه دم دو أما the list of the black prophets برنامج که اینی هره سویال سنجی ایت کرده هتین اینا نکه هدال نی. ام بیاد این دور که نی میت اما ام بیاد اما نبیده مگه عده اینو اون نگاه نی هدین اون های امت سومالیت. هد کار وحی نکه هدال نی. خیب تین نی هره او خیب این نگه خبیا آن هره اوش هگ نی. وحی نکه هدال نان سوق هدال نی. تو سالهان نبی نبی الله سلیمان او اینو سومالیان اون نگاه نی سلیمان وحن سوق هذا النبي به نبي داود عليه السلام ويسكن أي نونا قال نبي داود وحن سوق هذا السجود كله نبي إلياس أو أي نو آدو فلان قال نبي أربعة إنت إل يا إل أو أي نو سوق هذا النبي مقعدة إلياس إلهن يا إلوت أو هراء وجه هذا النبي أتبا مانتها برنامج كنيسي هراء تونتي مرقات فركيسة waxa ino soo bandhigi doona oo aanu yar dhageysan doona gordhow een askalers ku weyn ama mid ka mid ah culimada islaamka oo leeyahay sheekh umar suleeman oo runtii aad inta badan youtube ka ee barnaamijkiisa ugu jiraan barnaamijkan sheekha marka uu clipska marka inuu milicsano tabaan waxaanu marka isku soo guriyo noqono aanu ka eegi doona falangayn ama review aan ku sameyn doona bal wixii halka ka dhacay marka marka koowaad بل أينو مركو هرى يرمي العسنة وح وح بعسيني هاي كليبس كان وشر عمر السليمان كهل ليو وحنا نجاح جوزنا قار والبا قالها على رأيك إن البرشدة الصومالية ترترسين كلينو سي أي إنت بدن أوجه هلان دف يو يو دب وح جنت حنا قته سويال كوجان عجان عن المرنبا الموجود إن على الطاون بل قار دوم أديك على بحو ودات كا يو وحاو كا هل يو دابا دينا وين نسكوسو نغن دونا داو شاه بون Were there black prophets from the ones that were mentioned to us? And we will find actually a few names that are household names, names that we read in the Quran One of them, historically speaking, speaking is Suleyman alayhi salam Suleyman alayhi salam is biblically described as having dark skin Okay, Bani Israel was not, you know, they, they had uh, various colors, historically speaking. Why? Because their origins were different. Some of them had Arabic origins, some of them had some Egyptian origin and so on and so forth. Sulaiman alayhi salam is biblically described as having dark skin, for example. Um, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa comes from the lineage of a black woman. Who is that woman? Hajar alayhi salam. Okay, so that's actually the lineage of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi himself. Musa alayhi salam, the man who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to directly, Kalimullah, the man who the Qur'an speaks about more than any other human being in history, subhanAllah, Musa alayhi salam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi did not just say that he was black. We're not, we're not even talking about biblical athar, we're talking about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi He said that Musa alayhi salam, when I saw him, he resembled the people of Az-Zut or Shanu'ah. Az-Zut and Shanu'ah were the two darkest tribes amongst the Arabs. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said, Musa alayhi salam had the blackest skin, he was not you know, and you know, that's that's part of the problem with Hollywood imagery, like Musa Islam does not look like Christian Bale. All right, he doesn't look like, the, and even the older movie, The Ten Commandments, right? We have a certain image of Moses that's in our heads. Musa Islam looks nothing like that, okay? So Rasulullah Sallallahu is saying when I saw him, and some of the ulama, they pointed out that the Prophet Sallallahu was saying that to the Sahaba, you know, not only just to, to, to describe them physically, because he did do that وسلم, for some of the prophets, but also to show them the superiority of Musa Islam despite the color of his skin. That there is no man, subhanAllah, that, that, that is praised more in the Quran and spoken about more in the Quran than him. So if you have a problem with people who have darker skin, you have a problem with Musa salam, then you have a serious problem with the Quran and you have a serious problem with faith altogether. So subhanAllah, how can a racist be a Muslim then? How can a racist be a believer? How can a racist say he loves the Qur'an? When Kalimullah, the one who Allah spoke to most, is a man who was dark, extremely dark, as the Prophet ﷺ said. Now, obviously the most, uh, the, the Prophet who you have the most controversy about, 
always in history is Jesus alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam. Why? Because Isa alayhi salam is the most highly politicized prophet in history. Even though he was not himself necessarily political per se. But his image has been politicized for throughout history. Actually, subhanAllah, even uh, the earliest uh, days of Christianity after the Apostle Paul, the image that Jesus assumed uh, depended on the culture that Paul uh, was reaching. So Isa alayhi salam to the Persians looked like Mithras. He looked exactly like their Persian gods. To the Romans, he looked like their Roman gods. To the Egyptians, he looked like the Egyptian gods. To the Indians, some of the, you know, some of the, the Hindus actually, you know, uh, said that Isa alayhi salam was an incarnation of the Lord Vishnu. So they portrayed him as a carnation of the Lord Vishnu. So Isa alayhi salam, his image has been politicized for thousands of years. Obviously the Atlantic slave trade. Okay. Using the image of a white god. I remember subhanAllah, me personally, I remember, um, you know, my, my, my dad teaches at Southern University, which is a historically black college. And I went to Xavier University for some time. And Xavier, I remember walking in Xavier University and seeing uh, a picture of, because Xavier is a Catholic university, seeing a picture of Isa alayhi salam, for example, you know, with, with dreadlocks and with dark skin. And I was like, this is interesting, but it's probably more historically accurate than the, the images that we're used to. But right away, I was, I was throttled and I was like, wait a minute, that's, that's not Isa alayhi salam. But I'm like, well, well, what is Isa alayhi salam, right? What does Jesus, peace be upon him, look like? Interestingly enough, we find a disagreement amongst the Sahaba themselves. So we find a few ahadith. Uh, one of them is from Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And this is an authentic hadith that the Prophet sallallahu says that while I was uh, sleeping at the Kaaba, I saw a dark man. I saw a dark man who is the most handsome of dark men that you have ever seen. Meaning the most handsome man I've ever seen. Uh, or the most handsome of dark men I've ever seen. So he's, he's saying, Sallallahu Alaihi he's praising the beauty of Isa Alaihi Islam. He said he had ear, he had hair that was reaching to between his ears and his shoulders, like the most beautiful of hair that you've ever seen. So he praised the color of Isa Alaihi Islam. He praised his looks. He praised his hair. And then he said he had, he, he combed his hair and, and, uh, water was dripping from his hair and he was leaning on two men, uh, who were doing tawaf around the Kaaba. So I asked, I said, Man hadha, who is this? So they said, this is Al-Masih ibn Maryam. This is uh, the Messiah, Jesus ibn Maryam, alayhi salam. So he said, then I saw a man with wiry hair and who was blind in his right, right eye as if it was a floating grape. And I said, who is this? And they said, this is Al-Masih al-Dajjal. This is the Antichrist. Ibn Abbas anhu though, he has a narration where the Prophet sallam, says, I saw Musa, Isa and Ibrahim alayhi salam. And Isa alayhi salam was of a red complexion, curly hair and a broad chest. Musa alayhi salam was of a dark complexion, straight hair, and a tall stature as if he was of the people of Azut. So that's also a hadith, right? Then you find Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. Ibn Mas'ud's narration uh, says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam spoke about the al-Masih al-Dajjal in front of the people and he said Allah is not one-eyed while a Dajjal is blind in the right eye. Why? Because Dajjal will claim to be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said, Allah is not one-eyed. A Dajjal is blind in the right eye. And he said, his, his eye looks like a rotten grape. Then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, while I was sleeping near the Kaaba last night, I saw in my dream, فَإِذَا رَجْلٌ آدَمُ كَأَحْسَنِ مَا يُرَى مِنْ أَدَمُ The same thing that he said in the narration of Ibn Umar, that I saw a man uh, of dark skin who was the most beautiful of all of those with dark skin that I'd ever seen and with the most beautiful of hair of all of those that I'd ever seen. And he basically, is, it, it perfectly coincides with the narration of uh, of Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Then he continues to describe ad dajjal as well. So what do we do here? Because we have a narration of Ibn Mas'ud and Ibn Umar that are authentic where the Prophet Sallallahu is describing Isa Alayhi as having dark skin. And then you have a narration of Ibn Abbas where the Prophet Sallallahu is describing Isa Alayhi with red skin, which is, uh, you know, actually white skin. Okay, Ahmar would refer to very white skin. Uh, there is another narration from Umar al Khattab radiallahu anhu, also in Al-Bukhari, where he says, لا والله ما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لعيسى أحمر. He said, I swear by Allah that the Prophet did not say that Isa had red skin. 
So Umar radiallahu anhu is attaching an oath to it. He said, وَلَكِنْ قَالْ بَيْنَمَا أَنَا نَائِمٌ أَطُوفُ بِالْكَعْبَةِ فَإِذَا رَجْلٌ آدَمْ And so on and so forth. He said, while I was sleeping, there was a man that approached and uh, he had dark skin and so on and so forth. Now, the point of this is, number one, we should not dispute like the Christians do about the color of Isa Islam because it doesn't matter. That's number one. It did not matter. You have conflicting narrations. The stronger of them, obviously, that Isa alayhi salam had dark skin, which would be more historically accurate, but it doesn't matter. That's the point here. It was a non-factor and it's part of the wisdom of not portraying the prophets of Allah. Okay? So, uh, you know, you have historical evidence. Uh, Ibn al-Manzur, he says that Hajar, Musa, Isa, and Adam alayhi salam, because Adam means dark, actually in the Arabic language. That's how the Arabs used to describe someone with dark skin. So Adam alayhi salam, and then you have the theological perspective, and as Ibn al-Mandur says that the Sahaba did not care to ask much about this. And this is very significant because if you look at the companions of the Prophet sallam, they used to ask him about everything. But this was not a concern that they had. They would not ask the Prophet sallam, what color was Ibrahim? What color was this Prophet? What color was he? Because it simply did not matter to them. So we should not portray them and it should not become an issue to where it becomes politicized. Some of the other Prophets that are mentioned in the Quran or, or figures, uh, you have Dhul Qarnayn, Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu and Ibn Abbas, they both say that he was uh, a black king. Now obviously Dhul Qarnayn is a controversial historical figure in and of itself because is he Alexander, is he Cyrus, Allahu alam. Again, it doesn't matter. The point being though, at this point now, because we know that there are prophets that Allah mentioned and there are prophets that Allah did not mention. The Prophet ﷺ says that there were 124,000 prophets. So, had authentic hadith in Muslim Imam Ahmad, 124,000 prophets. Amongst them, 315 were messengers. Now, 124,000 prophets. Uh, so you can imagine how many of them were of different languages, how many of them were of different races, what they must have looked like, where they were sent to. That would mean that there were African prophets, there were Indian prophets, there were Chinese prophets, there were pro prophets that were sent probably to the Americas way before, right, with the, with the ancient settlers of this land. There were prophets that were sent there. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذَّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا we don't punish a people until we send them a messenger. A messenger from amongst themselves. We have never sent a prophet except that he speaks the language of his people. And as the scholars say, the language of his people did not mean just that he spoke the language. As you all know, there are people that speak English, but they still don't speak your language. Right? We were talking about this earlier, as Sarah Palin would say, they don't speak American, all right? <laughs> so there are people that don't speak your language, but they still speak your language, right? It's a different accent, or you know, they don't relate to you, the slang is different, so they might speak your language, but it's not really your language. So what did the ulama say that Allah means when He says, إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِ That means a person who walked with them, spoke with them, a person that was just like them, a person that they could relate to, right? The whole point of, um, you know, مَالِ هَذَا الرَّسُولِ يَمْشِي فِي يَأْكُلُ طَعَامُ وَيَمْشِي فِي الْأَسْوَاقِ What is it with this Prophet that walks in the marketplace, uses the restrooms, eats and so on and so forth? Allah wants to send you Prophets that you could relate to. So when Allah would send Prophets in the past, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was sending them to all, people all over the world, Allah was sending Prophets in every language and in every color. We can't say, well, Allah didn't mention African prophets and so on and so forth, so we can't assume that there were African prophets. We actually can very much so assume that there were African and Indian and so on and so forth. Romanti <laughs> برنامج كنا مانتا أسويال سجل سنتي غيبتي سجل تونات وحين خصو قادنا إنه حويا والديبان كنبي يدي مدوى ما عم بيدي مدوي الدنيا دو إنت بضم مركز لجاه ليو مدو وحلو يا قانو أريب حنتا مدو جا أما فلان قينتا أما الديفينيشن عن مركز لو واح واح لو كلا صاريو أريج مدو لفتيسا أيه أوبان إن أدلو غيحه وغيح بضم أوبان وياه 
dad badan oo inaga ay ku tirina cadaan ayaa loo ku yaraa midabka madow in leeyihiin dadkaas iyo waxa qayb ka mid ah arabta waxa ka mid ah hindida sida hindida pakistaanida dad badan oo waxa jira madowga la soo geliyo laakiin inaga in madow waa qon marka madowga laftiisa ma madow madowga saxda ahaba ma madowga khadiidka aha ma madowga maarin xigeenka aha arimaha soo dhan qaybahan dabar ku qaada dhig doonaa waxa kala raba inaan halkan ka soo dhax saaro een eray bixinta nabi ee san horo sheegay ee magaca nabi waa la labaxaa inta badan oo etiopia oo kale marka deegto habashidu waa in la baxaan waxay isugu yaraan nabiyu nabiyu waa lagu yaraa qofka oo ka dhigan nabi waxa jira marka nabi iyo rasuul oo yagaan u baahan qeexid dheer inaan sameeyno inaga marka ka soomaalihan nabi maxay noo naqaana soomaaliga inaga nabi af soomaaliga waxay noo naqaana dige nabigu waa dige eregan eray bixinta dige waxaan ka soo dhaxeelay kitaabka qur'aanka kariimka ah ee ku lagu fasiray afka Soomaaliga dige marka haddii uu nabi ku noqonay af Soomaali eray magaca dige ma la baxnaa anaga Soomaali ahaan jawaabtu waa ha ee dad badan oo Soomaali ah dige la baxa jiray waxa jira nin fanaano oo maxay hebel dige la yiraahdo waxa jira reer dan oo tulweyna la yiraahdo dige samatalis oo ah beelweynta xawaale marka mar haddii aan nabiga u naqaanay eray eray aan u hayno af Soomaali ah waxa xaqiiqa dhulkeen inay aan biyo joogeen nabina loo soo diray ama ay ka soo baxeen wa xaqiiq barnaamijkan aan ku xaqiijin doona ee inta markaan ka gudbo qaybteenii hore ee soo yaalisin jiray waxaan ka hadalnay nabii ilaahay suleeman oo suleemana nabii ilaahay daawud oo daawud ah nabii ilaahay ilyas oo ilyas ah ayaan ka hadalnay maanta barnaamijkan waxaan ka soo dhaxilnay iyaguna nabii suleeman alayhi salaam in uu lagu tilmaamay inuu yahay nin madow نبي الله إبراهيم إنه هانين مدو نقول تلمامه يا نبي الله موسى إنه هانين مدو أو تاسي شك كم بجرو موسى إنه نين مدو آه يدعي عنك موسى ويجمد يمشى وخطر كلا كروم يقيبه عند بنك عكس وقالن دونا وحكلو لشيء جا أو عد هاجرة أما هجر أما هكرة إنه هيد كبر مدو بركا مدو مركل اللي جاي أما مركل اللي جاي الحبش إنه كسر مالي هان مقعد يني عن اللهين ee taariikhda ina ku sid kana ee taariikhda ina dhax eegaagtay ee taariikhda ina laga soo dhaxeelay waan ka cararnay habas marka la leeyahay waa qof madow marka waa ay madowga si goonida ah ee waxa uu lagu riixayo taasi marka waxay inaga yaani daahday ama ay inoo diiday inaan helno xaqiiqada dhabta ah waayo magaci madowga oo afka carabiga habas ku noqonay ayay inoo ka cararno toornay habas marka waxay inoo siinay dad aan lahayn beenu siinay dadkii aynu siinay baan ka darqaday ama ka dhargay ama de ka faa'iiday taariikhdii magacaasi uu wateey inta markaan ka gudbo ee anbiyadani yani runahanti wa anbiyo ilaahi soo diray oo yaa nabi ama rasuul nooc ay doona sidan doona hadan ugu yeerno ee waxaan loo soo diray waxa weeyaan waa qarno wa dhambal fariisidayaal qarno wa digayaal markaan Soomaaliyeeno fariisiday يعني قف دي إلهي دي و شرف يا كرامة و يا لي و دبلنا و بلشدي سي و هلو وسو دي بي و بلشدي سي كده وعيي و داد كي سي فري وناق يا إلهي سبحانه وتعالى انو وين يا يو دي فرمي هلو وسو دي بي منا و حوية و ديجي و والنبي و حوية دادكو او ديجي يا عذابت الله يو إلهي انو وين يا يو دباتي انا جرتو يو غيري دو حكتا بينا جدان يا لوغي ديجي يا مالك تاسي خسي دايران ما يو waxa halkan inoo ga soo dhax baxday barnaamijkan ee sheekha uu ka hadlayo wuxuu yiri waxa jiro anbiyo la xusay iyo kuwa aan la xusin waxa kale oo uu sheegay anbiyada la xusay iyo kuwa aan la xusin marka de kulle culumadeena Soomaaliyeed ee dadka diinta ahli marka inta badan waxaad muuda een een inta badan inaynu arinteen ku soo koobno dulka haadin laakiin aynu faafaayn hoose aynan gelin laba waxay nooga soo baxay barnaamijkan waxa uu leeyahay sheeg waxa jiro 124000 oo nabi ayaa jira 124000 oo nabi waxa ka mid ah 124000 ayaa ka simid oo rasuul oo yaani dhan fariisidayaal halka marka waxa ka cad 
يعني بقول يا فرلاباتهم كون مركز جنان ده الدنيا دي مركز جرتي يعني بحاله جا غارض وخديم أما غارضي هي حرة أما دول كلك يهدف كون نولاين إن أمبيا أحد بدل نصوتره and waxaa kale oo aan ka faa'iideynaa oo qaybtan oo wadaadka ka hadlaya wuxuu yiri maadaama ay 124000 hayaan waxa suurta gal ah ama dhacda ama bijirta sidu raaci hadalkiisa inuu jiray nabi loo diray chinese chinese nabi ah nabi hindi ah nabi hata wuxuu yiri america yaani indians markay joogaan nabi loo soo diray inaga marka ka soomaal ahaan maxaan ku diideynaa inaga oo dhulkii inta uu jirno barakaysnaad dhulkeena lagu tilmaamo inuu qayb ka ahaa dhulka barakaysan إن لو صوت رأي نبي فرابا دان أو دي حتى غباء إلا دا سومالي دا كسو دح بحي حضر كا حدنا وحاسير رأي وعجايبا إلهي سبحانه وتعالى وحو اللي يهي وحال كان كدا حلني آيات خورانا نأي تاي أما يعني وداد دا إيسو ورين يان أما با أي حديث با إي تاسود وشيغي يوشيكو أمت أما قريو أما دد ما حلاقنو إلا آن رسول صوت رنا مو يعني إلهي واقف الرحم وعادل يعني دد كلا ما حلق يو أما لما حلاقه يو أما أقول كلا لما جوينا يو إلا فرين يسوع جاد إلى سبحانه تعالى إن يسكت منه تاسي وحكس وح وحكسي لرن رسوشة أما أم بيدا أن تد كان لصو ترى يو وتد يجا كميت أي على قصة حصارية صالحان سومالي دوي أي قف أف سومالي جيكان نكان سومالي جيكان هبقات في سومالي جلة يعني قف سير سومالي وتلاو سنة يو تد ككميت أي على قصة حصارية أرم ما هدي لصو ترى من نوع عصلة صو حصارية أنفر هدي لو تري من نوع عصر الصوت الصارية صاحا هدي لو تري يو سياسو كلي إنديا هدي لو تري يعني تاسي وحا عدينا سامركا لول كينا إن أنبياء بطن إيمادين أما كو آسيين ميلا هيو كو آسيين يستراحة وقايب دم بينو كاهل دورنا إنتا مركا أنو سو قونا أنا دي برنامج كي قبل قبل ديسكوش يستقى يو هالكا وحا إنو كو صوبحت مكو واح بطن سومال يو وحا جيرا ميلا بطن أما دقل سومال أنا مالا بدن أو أد أركيسو إن له اللي أما له حلاقي مالا هسيو حكم ده مقال ده لو يقانه بابل أما بابل ما أنت لو يقانه أو رنتي مقال ده معجزة أو مقال ده مركا هر دين عاد كتما دين عاد بده جيجو صعوته بده ده ده وحكاك بنا لجحان قاب كود بوقال قدرت له وحركة مقال ده سي مقال ده اللي جنتي أما له اللي جي إنك تاي مقال ده سي هربا نوقع حضرني أنا برنامج كأني برنامج كأسو كل حاجة وحنا كذا حضرني نبي الله أيوب حلكو حنون كي لا أورنج ده يجو ما ديجا حلكو كهلا يعني مجال هذا سعيد برنامج كأني الله ونعرفه أبو نعلي بوجا وكينا وجا فلوني مجال هذا لو يقانا متحرة أما حرة دي بورتا الناس ريت هذا ما يودع سواس وحار ديرا وحاك دعي مشا وحوال الوحي اللي جاي قارنو هلا فولكانا كدعي قدها هذا كشو قبل هذا وقوي لا بري وحدي لسه ميلا بدن أساسه كلا مركا برنامج كي نان ديوان كان نبي يدي مدو أما the list of the black prophets انت هيا نكسو اف ميري دونا وحيا واحا مركا برنامج كان وحا مبارسين هاي وحيا وباحا ان دادك الصومالية دي اندار قرادك اي واحا بدن خلاص ودح بحان دابدن اي واحا اسكوي ديان دابدن اي نو بلوشي دو اصوب بندي بنو واحا بدن او قرصون برنامج كان واحا اسكوشو دي برادريق واسوح فابروني واحا تكلاسو عطان هاي ادا اما دي أريدك أما معك أريدك أيرو تي في أيانا برنامج كان أتكلم صوتان حاجة في الصمت أنا وحين نوقع بسن إنجنير مودة إنت برنامج كان مثل ما يدخل كل ميننا وحنا نذكرك تجينا في أمان الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.